if fish has been grown in much colder countries like Netherlands with success, I got the chance of uh, meeting up with somebody from there and uh, they've been holding my hand and guiding me through till where we are today. The product is a fish that is produced on land using a recirculation system developed by Food Tech Africa. The whole idea was scaling fish production in Africa because we've been doing ponds all over the country but then you take a look at the statistics, we still have a deficit. That has resulted into us having to import fish. And so what you are seeing here today is just a look into the future. Kiambu is quite a cold region. Through the recirculation aquaculture system, you're able to harness the temperature and able to ensure that the temperature remains at an optimum level and there's less fluctuations between daytime and nighttime. The system comes in a knockdown package that can be assembled on site. We have the solar kit, we have the filtration systems, the biofilter and the sedimentation tank, with the blowers, all the equipment necessary for a recirculation aquaculture farm. We will ensure that the management and the staff are optimally trained and are able to run the farm once it's established. The temperatures average are around 19 degrees. You look at it scientifically, tilapia won't grow in such a place. The fish hub is actually a blessing to the place because we get to retain our heat, we get to control our temperatures. Having gotten temperature right, you have your production right. In one single tank, you're able to harvest 7,000 kilograms of fish annually, and um, it is very land efficient and water efficient. 380, we get to control every aspect. If it's oxygen, the feed and everything, you have control of it. So as a farmer, it is very important that you have access to quality feed and quality seed in order to ensure that you have the maximum production on your farm. Now, with Foodtech Africa intervening in the aquaculture sector, we were able to ensure that farmers have access to quality feed in our partnership with Unga, who are currently producing tilapia feed here in Nairobi. And we're ensuring farmers have access to quality fingerlings. So far, I would confidently say it worked. It has worked and it's even done better than anyone even imagined. And that's just not the end of it. I believe it's just the beginning. For economies of scale, we want to upscale to eight tanks. The market is there. We are close to Nairobi. And the demand is also quite high and growing for fish in Nairobi and beyond. The biggest selling point of our fish is the freshness of it. Because all these fishes which come from distant uh, places, by the time they get to the market, they may be three days old, but with our fish, it is harvested in the night and very early in the morning, it is with the end consumer. The sky is the limit when it comes to fish aquaculture, especially within Kenya.